William Saliber to stay at the Arsenal? That is right lads, welcome back to your boys channel and today we are here to discuss the latest news surrounding Arsenal Football Club. So from what exactly is happening with Arsenal young centre back William Saliba to also let's get insight on our Thomas Partey and as well as that what is going on with the future of Meza Ozil. So with that being said guys welcome back to your boys channel, hope you guys are doing very well and let's get into the latest Arsenal news. Yo what is going on guys, my name is Bowers14 and after one day off we are back again. This video has been kindly sponsored by the guys at One Football. and so if you guys would like to stay up to date with the team's team news, transfer news, results, fixtures and even some stats then go down in the description and download the One Football app. Not only would they go a massive way for the channel, it would also be massively appreciated by a boy as well. Also go down there, smash a like on the video and also do subscribe to the channel if you're new, we are closing in to 30,000. Get in the comments and get involved and let me know your thoughts but with that being said guys let's get into this the latest Arsenal news. Now the first thing we have to discuss is is William Saliba now staying at the Arsenal. Did I hear a sequada? Essentially lads we have breaking news coming up from man like David Ornestein and he is saying William Saliba is set to stay at Arsenal for at least until January. Now of course for context guys man like Willow the Mbappe of centre backs was set to move to the championship side Norwich, Brentford, Watford would tell his side. And let's just say a lot of Arsenal fans like your boy wasn't best pleased and most Arsenal fans were thinking if this guy really is the Mbappe of centre backs then why is Mbappe going to the championship? Well of course there are a few factors that have been said and one being of course personal matters that I do not want to get into because that should be something that remains private and that is what we're not going to discuss on this channel. But let's just say there have been a few other reasons. The first one of course being not that Arteta doesn't rate him but more that he thinks he is not ready for the Premier League and some reports have and claim that Arteta thinks this guy is too rash when it comes to diving into the tackles. Now in terms of myself, when I have watched him play last season, Saliba didn't commit a single foul so I am a bit sceptical of those reports. But at the same time, Arsenal quite clearly actively trying to learn him, so Netienne was a club full of involved as well and now it was the championship. And for me, I cannot lie, I have always, always, always been against him going down to the championship. Now I ain't got nothing against the EFL clubs, I think it is a fantastic league full of entertainment. But at the same time, we have not signed the Mbappe pay your centre backs to entertain we have signed him of course to be a top class centre back. After all after they pay a fee of 30 million pounds for the St Etienne centre back and let's just say the pressure has been on him since day one and you know what let's just get it straight a lot of our fans including good boy may have just overhyped him. Now by no means am I saying he can't live up to the hype the guy is still 19 years of age he's got so much time on his hand. But at the same time of course you get a couple frauds here and there that want to talk loud the rival fans especially lads keep talking he's 19 let's have a bit of patience FC but what exactly are your boys personal thoughts on Saliba now not going to the championship well honestly speaking lads I am actually pretty happy with this I'm not saying Saliba is going to break into the Arsenal first team I still think Gabriel Magalhaes, David Luiz and even man like Rob Holdini is for some reason ahead of him in the pecking order but at the same time Saliba playing in the EFL Cup wouldn't be the worst of things but at the same time I can't lie the fact that he's not involved in the Europa League squad that is just a massive waste of space do 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 I hate this competition so so much but at the same time it has shown in the past that it is able to develop players Bukayo Saka, Gabriel Martinelli to name a few were put into the Arsenal first team via man like Una Emery and they made their names in the Europa League and I think if Saliba was involved in the Europa League squad this would have been perfect for him as well but alas lads the way life goes it has not happened so we are going to have to move on but for me personally speaking I would rather have him stay in the Arsenal team stay involved in the Arsenal squad and adapt to their environment rather than go down to a championship side which might benefit him but at the same time I just think it's just too rough of a league for a 19 year old French centre back to go into and maybe it gives Salah an opportunity to train with the Arsenal first team develop his game and also just maybe force his way into the Arsenal first team but yeah lads get in the comments and let me know your thoughts on William Salibar what would you do and what are your thoughts on the fact that this guy could now be staying sick with the FC at Arsenal football club get in the comments and let me know your thoughts moving on lads and nice Thomas Partey is on fire. I think it is about time lads the party can begin. Of course I have to say it one more time Thomas Partey is officially an Arsenal player. Let me just check that. 
Uh, oh yeah, officially Arsenal player, number 18. You'll love to see it. They have, of course, the Thomas Party signed just before the international break on deadline day. And he, of course, has been playing for Ghana in their national team. In terms of the first game, we're not going to talk because it wasn't the best or performance of Ghana in general. But let's just say in today's game, the party really arrived. As Ghana beat Qatar 5-1 and Partey got two assists as well. Now, let's get it straight. Let's not go over the top. It's just Qatar. It's an international friendly. Let's not overhype him. But at the same time, time that Partey cannot be stopped and one thing I want to discuss in particular is one of his assists and that was a ball he plays in behind to the right winger of Ghana who finishes it perfectly when Arsenal played with Pepe and Partey that ball in behind as Partey shown he is capable and has the facilities to do so and let's just say the CEO of Presence Blood FC may just be licking his lips and trust me so am I as well in terms of his overall performance again it was a commanding performance and what was key was Partey quite a few times in the game was bursting forwards and not just showing he's not just a defensive midfielder, he can get forwards and get forwards with effect as well. And that is something you love to say that Partey is beautiful. And then you've also had reports coming out from man like Charles Watt and he has said Thomas Partey is set to arrive at London Colony on Wednesday. And so guys open the calendars and write down the date because when is the day where we're gonna see official photos of Thomas Partey in Arthur's shirts and we may just see a cheeky little interview as well. And at the same time listen I don't want to get too excited Excited, but that party gets me too excited every single time and also with his first game it could of course be against Manchester City and you know what the more I look at it the more I think this could be almost a perfect game for party now I understand it is a very very difficult game Man City away is always going to be difficult but for me it's a perfect test to see how much party is going to influence the Arsenal team how many times over the years have Arsenal fans heard we don't have enough power and that's why we lose big games and of course you still have that awful awful stats and that is that Arsenal have not won against the big six side away from home since 2015 when Olivier Giroud scored that goal 2 0 against Man City as well of all teams and so now we're gonna have to wait and see if Partey does start but if he does it will be a massive test and a massive indication to how far Arsenal really have come and can we finally just get an away win against a big six side I'm begging Arsenal but yeah guys get in the comments and let me know your thoughts on Thomas Partey and how excited you are on a scale 1 to 10 to see him just in an Arsenal shirt because me it's 10,000 it's 10 million it's beautiful see moving on to the third thing lads and that is Mesut Ozil is at it again listen Mesut my brother man like oh with the two dots ahead listen my guy I appreciate you I understand that you're frustrated but now this is starting to get out of control the first report we have is from man like David Ornstein and he has said Arsenal was saving around 8 million pounds in appearance bonus fees since Ozil has not played now what does that mean Babs well basically meaning every time Ozil plays man gets money just for appearing they get the goals for getting the assists just by playing for Arsenal my man's getting paid money now listen I'm not one man to blame but at the same time if you look around you might just see a certain little fraud whose name is Ivan Gazidis and trust me he is the guy to blame for this contract it's just so so stupid and I just cannot understand it and trust me when I say Ivan Gazidis one day you will pay for your sin and so maybe this is the reason why Arsenal have not been playing Mesut Ozil maybe it was because Mesut Ozil wasn't playing that Arsenal could have paid for the Partey and so yeah guys get in the comments and let me know your thoughts on what is an absolute piece of shambles the second report that i want to discuss and that is that al nassar have agreed apparently a five million pound transfer fee for arsenal for mesut ozil and offered him a two-year millionaire contract but the player has made it clear that he does not want to leave Arsenal for now and even though he is not in contention to play. And again, it goes back to it. My man's getting paid massive, massive fees of money to stay in London, stay in his house, play Fortnite, however you want to say, and just do nothing. Now at the same time, I don't want to blame man like Meza because it was Arsenal's fault to give him this humongous, stupid contract. But at the same time, Meza, can you not just do your boy a bit of a favour and maybe just say it's time to go, please? I'm much appreciated. But no, Meza Ozil is persistent. He says Sequoia, he said he wants to stay, and he's then even doing things like this. As today, he has now retweeted a video from man like Ozil thinks on Twitter, a video of him and his early days under Mikata and 
his fantastic performances. Now, yes, Meza, I understand that you were very good in your first few games on Arteta. And you know what? If Ozil was to come back into the Arsenal first team eventually, I wouldn't mind it. He's a decent little player. But at the end of the day, it is not my personal decision. It is over to Mikel Arteta. Mikel, do you want to play Mazout? But for me, personally speaking, I just think this is starting to get way too out of hand. First the tweets, then the Gunnosaurus, and now videos of Ozil things. Bro, just stop it and let us just move on with our lives, bro. If you want to play Fortnite, play Fortnite and go do your thing. I have nothing against that, man. But yeah, guys, get in the comments and let me know your thoughts on Mesut Ozil and what do you think Arsenal should do. Should we start him or should we keep him on the bench? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And so there you guys go. That is the latest news surrounding Arsenal Football Club. And so, yeah, once again, eventful, non-eventful, I don't care. End the international break and give us our Thomas Partey. But yeah, guys, of course, if you have enjoyed the video, so make sure to go down there and drop a like on the video. And also do subscribe to the channel if you're new. Road to 30,000. We're getting there very soon. Do your boys' channel a massive favor and download the one for The links are in the description below. It will be massively appreciated. And also, as always, get in the comments and let me know your thoughts on Ozil, on Partey, on Saliba, and get involved. Follow my social media and subscribe to my group channel, The Offsiders. But with that being said, guys, let's end it there and there. In the latest Arsenal news today, we have discussed Mesut Ozil, William Saliba, and of course, Thomas Partey. And now, all I want in life is to end this boring international break so we can finally have our Partey in the lives. I will see you next time in a bit.